season two. I mean, everybody is excited about this show. I mean, I think because it represents, we've seen other shows that kind of supposed to be family legacy shows, but it seems like this is really about passing down wealth instead of passing down debt. And, and how does it feel to like represent that? I mean, we, we, we never really hear about uh, the community like having wills and passing down <laughs> land and stuff like that in our community. How does it feel to represent something that I guess we all as uh, people should be like striving to do for the next generation? I think it's, uh, it's, it's important because, like you said, people are, need images, positive images and positive role models, and I think they want to be seen. And I, I love, I feel, it, well, I feel a great responsibility playing Nova because a lot of women really see themselves in her. And so that just drives me as an actor to stay as authentic, as genuine, and as open as possible when I, when I play her. Because it is reaching people in a way that is touching them in the deepest places. It's healing them in the deepest places. They're, it's sparking dialogue and conversations between people who may not normally talk to each other. Um, and I think that's in the way in which we present um, these, the images of the characters that we play. Um, they're tangible, they're accessible, and they're engaging. Um, and that is beautiful to be a part of that, that movement. Um, especially, I think, where I'm at, I think in my career, what I saw growing up, I know someone almost talked about like the Cosby Show, and now it's like Queen Sugar, and I was like, you putting Cosby Show and Queen Sugar in the same? But there was like, it's that wow. same feeling of familiarity, of feeling mm -hmm. at home when you turn on the television. Um, and I think that is amazing to, to have people responding to us like that. To follow up, uh, Nova's character seems to be like almost uh, an understanding person for black men. Like, you know, <laughs> you know I feel like so many um, black men get, get ridiculed for whether it's incarceration and yeah. everything. It seems like Nova understands. And even when you look at uh, Charlie's uh, relationship, with, you know, it's always some um, beef or whatever, but it seems like Nova just has like the back of, is that is that written into the, the, the story for you to kind of like be like, yeah, I mean, I, I would. Nova is a healer and an activist, and the one in the community that people will come to. They entrust their stories to her. Um, they feel comfortable with her. Um, she is that person, which I'm thinking of the word like she's charismatic, but it's more than that. I f she walks around in her community with a heart like this, and people see it, and it's genuine. It's not just like, oh, I'm being open, but I'm not really, you know. She really sees people, and it's without judgment. Um, and I think that's why for her, it's a huge guilt and almost grief with her brother, with him being incarcerated and feeling like, maybe I didn't visit him enough. Like, how am I over here talking all this talk? And then my brother, you know, so she has like this duality in her life because she's doing so much from the community, but she also needs to do more and be present more, I think, in her own family. Uh, Donna, how do you feel like the relationship of the characters, uh, you already said like people reminisce of the Cosby show. How do you think the fam familiar relationship of, of the characters played on screen relates to the modern day families that uh, we have right now? I think it was one of the most rewarding <clears throat> parts of this process is not only making the, the show, but watching the first episode and feeling so awed at thinking that our families will see themselves. Our families will recognize something, that, that they will see um, themselves in all of this glorious beauty. Um, because that's what I think the show's doing, is it's just holding up a mirror, but asking you to put on, um, put on glasses of compassion and put on glasses of, of self-respect and dignity when you look back at yourself. That's what I feel like we're doing with, the, with, 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 the, with our communities and with our families with this show. Um, and inviting others who perhaps are not in those communities to see those reflections as well, you know, where they maybe didn't before. Um, I think the, the, what, what the family represents is legacy. You know, legacy implies generations. It implies history. It implies the future. And it implies the, pre the present moment. So, so you see the family in, in many generations having conversations about who they are, who they're becoming, um, what they want for their world, for themselves. And uh, I feel like it's, it's allowing and, and giving permission uh, to black folks to say, yeah, we're all things. You know, mm -hmm. we really are all things. We really can be all things. Um, it's really wonderful to be part of that. So for your character, Ralph Angel, last season it seemed like he was 
always kind of pull, pulling himself out of the hole. And, and now that um, with the end of the last season and the will and everything, it seems like season two starts with you kind of like finding your stable ground. And I feel like, how has the character changed among season one and season two? Like, and how do you how do you approach it different this year than the season that last year? Good question, man. I mm -hmm. feel like um, last year, Ralph Angel had a point to prove, you know, to the world, to his family, to everybody around him. It was very much so, I don't want to be viewed as this. But this, this season, it's more, how do I view myself? How do I view my relationship with my sisters, with, with my land, with my father, with my son, with my girl? And I feel like that search of identity and the transition, it becomes this slow transformation. And it's kind of just happening, but I don't even think he's aware of it. You know, I can speak on it because I'm outside of it. But as Ralph Angel, some of the situations he finds himself in, he doesn't understand why he's in them until after, you know, so I feel like he's just committed to the process and that's what he focuses on. It's just I want to be this, so I'm just I'm beelining towards that, you know, that destination. I don't even know if he knows completely where it is, but he has an idea and I think that's a part of the whole process, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how does Louisiana, um, I mean, because y'all represent so many different parts of Louisiana. The stories. How, is it, how has the community received you guys as this representation of, of their history? It's overwhelming. I mean, they just embraced us fully mm -hmm. from every aspect. When we walk around those streets, they treat us like the Bordelones, for real. There is no <laughs> dis yeah. disconnect. It's as if I'm Ralph Angel, that's Charlie, and that's Noah, period. Yeah. And that's so, I'm grateful for that. I'm from L.A., so to be able to get that, take that, to work that same day. I could go to the grocery store, get some love, go right to set and give that love right back to them. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it a conversation. So, I mean, it plays such a huge part, such a huge part, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you.